on air in five, four, three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to the One Eyed Dog Chat Show. Now, this week, as promised, we've got three great guests. But I want to tell you guys, one of these stories is a real lucky story. It's about Gina the gazelle who won the lottery. Now you've read about her in the paper and I want to meet Gina the gazelle first. So can we have a round of applause please? Woo! Woo! Hi Gina. Now, is it true that you won $50 million on the lottery last year? That is very true. Well, I'm real interested to know if you've spent all that money. Well, I haven't spent all that money. What did you spend some of the money on then? Well, I've only bought one thing, and that was a tree. A tree? You must sure like trees. Tell me about this tree. Well, um, this tree is very large because I use my poop as fertilizer. Are you seriously telling me that you go out in your backyard each night and poo beside the tree? Yes, I am telling you the absolute truth. My gosh. Now, have you ever considered that that must be a huge stink for your neighbours because you're a gazelle and you must poo tons and tons of poo each night? What about your neighbours? Well, I don't have any neighbours. Well, that's where you're wrong, Gina, because I want to introduce you to your neighbour, Birdie B. Everybody, a round of applause for Birdie B. Come on in, Birdie B. Don't be shy. Oh, my. Birdie B's bought his own bicycle. That's great because that'll save on transportation costs tonight. We won't need to get you a limo. You've got a bike. Now, Birdie B, tell us the problem that you've encountered since Gina the Gazelle won the lottery. Well, it's a quite a funny story. Story. It's quite a funny story. Well, I kind of guessed that you were telling me a sad story about this poo. Tell me more. Well, I love Ray and Toppy. I love on the, the trunk right there. And then every night I have to go out with a, with a chimney, pick it up and put it on her, on her chimney because she's getting a new, new toilet stall. And it always Wait a minute. Her. Let me just clarify this. Gina. Are you getting a new toilet installed in your home? Yes. But for the moment, what's happening is, Birdie Bee has to go out each night with a big massive bin bag no! and collect up all the poo. Is yes. that right? Yeah. And it's a huge stink. Yes, and I put it down her toilet because her tin is on top of her toilet. Now, I have to say to you, I thought this was a real sad story and I spoke to my executive producer, Morris the monkey, and he felt so strongly about it that he decided to go out this afternoon, Gina, and chop down your tree. Now, what do you think about that? I think that is just me. <laughs> Don't have to go and spend more money and go make my own tree. Yum. Now, that is really mean. You might think that, but I've got a sad story to say. While Morris the monkey was chopping down that tree. That is so mean! An unfortunate little puppy dog was walking past, just minding his own business, when that tree just went and splatted him. And it, I'm afraid, it affected two of his legs. But don't worry, folks, don't worry. There's still two legs fully functional. But that dog now has to live in a box. So I want you all to put your hands together but the shy little puppy with two legs and somebody will push the dog onto the show. Can somebody push the dog on, please? Just be careful now. He's in a box. Watch the dog. He's in a box. He's in a box. He's in a box. Okay. Now, now, little puppy. I'm real sorry about what happened to you. I was only trying to do the best thing. You know, I'm a great dog show host. And uh, it was unfortunate that you happened to be going past. <laughs> and you were crushed. Now, I'm real sorry about that, dog, but I'm thinking maybe we could, maybe, I don't know, get some wheels attached to your, your box and then you could get wheeled along to the pet shop for food. How do you feel about that? I think that's pretty good, but the way I'm transporting just now is a really horrible thing. Oh, my gosh. 
well, you know, I have to go. I'm a real busy person, and I have to go and spend some more of my cash because I'm really fortunate. I've been really famous and such a good-looking dog. But I would want you, Gina, to reconsider the pooping, and hopefully you can get that toilet installed real soon. But I'd like to thank you all for coming onto the show tonight. And next week we're going to be speaking to an elephant whose trunk was bitten off by a dog. Okay then. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.